for this week, by the way. I really hope you've enjoyed reflecting on lockdown um, after you heard us do that last week. Um, I hope you've done some really good uh, reflecting on that. And I hope you enjoyed making poo if you did that as well this week. So um, we're going to tell you about our learning for this coming week. So over to Miss Mrs. Carlton first for maths. Hello, everybody. So uh, last week you were doing perimeter in maths and this week we're moving on to area. Uh, we're starting the week estimating uh, the area of shapes and then moving on to uh, calculating area by counting squares and also calculating area with a formula in centimetres squared and in metres squared. And then at the end of the week, you're going to be using everything that you've learnt on perimeter and area over the last couple of weeks to answer some problems about both perimeter and area. So to consolidate all your knowledge. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Over to Mrs Roma. Hello Year 4. I uh, don't know how many of you have been up late enough, I'm sure you have, to see any of the wonderful sunsets we've had recently. But this week you, in art, you're going to have a go at painting your own sunsets. So you've got a video to watch where someone shows you how to make those beautiful layers of colour. And then you can have a go at your, your very own sunset. I think you'll be pleased with what you managed to do. And in geography, um, more about um, climate change. So you're going to be looking at some information all about climate change, think about how our, how the changes in temperature and the amount of rain we have might affect our lives in the future um, if we're not very careful. And thinking about um, in our very close around us, you've got a link to click on that will show you what, what, what areas around us here are at risk of flooding. So that could be quite interesting as well. Um, for science, you're continuing to think about the digestive system. So you're going to be, get a bit creative with that again. So you're either going to write an adventure story about how a piece of food, uh, the, adventure, the adventures of a piece of food through your digestive system, I should say. And then another idea would be to make a poster about the digestive system for other people to understand um, or some other creative idea. OK, so have a look at that. And then for PSHE is a bit of a crossover with your art this this time as well. So thinking about how people express their feelings, perhaps they listen to music or make music, perhaps they write a diary to express how they're feeling, perhaps they like to dance to express how they're feeling and artists often like to paint as well. So what we're going to ask you to do is try and uh, look at some, you're going to look at some pictures of artists expressing feelings through their paintings and then have a go at painting your own um, feelings, picture or drawing, whatever you like. Um, and you've got your French to continue with and of course your physical activities to continue with. And I'm going to pass over to Mrs Harding. Hi Year 4. Well this week there is no Oak Academy. So um, I have designed the lessons for this week. So hopefully you're going to really, really enjoy them. It's all based on a dragon island and you have got pictures to look at and also clips from how to train your dragon. And what I want you to do is to be really, really creative to use your beautiful vocabulary that you've been developing over the last few months and to create a story where the dragons are flying over the ocean. Then they're going to come down into a brand new setting, their idea of paradise. You're going to explore some ideas where they're going, why they are going there and what do they see when they get there? So it's a little bit of a story, a little bit of a um, descriptive setting piece as well, but you can really let your imaginations fly. So I hope you have lots and lots of fun doing this. You're going to get to do lots of art in, in planning what your dragons can see, feel, hear, and then hopefully uh, lots of descriptions about especially where they end up. So have fun doing that. Please, please, please send them in to us when you have finished because I'd love to read your final pieces as well. So have fun and enjoy it. Over to Mrs Southgate. Hi, Year 4. Hi, Arc 4. Um, so next week we are 
going to be looking at Antarctica. We're going to be doing a lot more non-fiction. So this week was fiction, next week's non-fiction. Um, and we're going to be looking at ice, exploring some experiments um, with ice and keeping things cold and keeping things warm. Uh, we're going to be doing lots of art, uh, polar bears, penguins, all sorts of things like that. So we're going to have a really brilliant time with that. Um, I hope you're all well and I'll pass over to Mr Barnard. Brilliant, thank you all very much. Um, well, um, that's it from us. We hope you have a great um, week and enjoy your learning. And uh, we'd love to see uh, your things being sent in. So please keep asking your parents to uh, send in completed work to us from all three classes. We love to see it. So uh, do carry on doing that and we will see you again soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.